Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs and I've got a fun pickle card for you. I know I've got a few pickle lovers out there. We sure do love our pickles around here. This is a Bistro Bur the Bistro Burger stamp set and dies. And I have had so much fun playing with these. I've got a whole series of projects for you. If you're looking for more ideas, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, hop back to my blog and you will find them. All right, we're gonna start with a piece of Granny Apple Green cardstock and Granny Apple Green ink. And I'm gonna start stamping my pickle all over in different directions. Each time I'm gonna turn either my stamp or my paper. We don't want them to all be the same for sure. We want them to be going in different directions. Um, the, there is a PD, free PDF over on my blog today that has the measurements for this card as well as the other projects. So this piece, in case you're wondering, will be on that PDF, the measurements for this piece. All right, there you go right there. I think we've got enough pickles for us. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out the middle of this with this rectangle right here. And then we're gonna pop it up under a piece of garden green. But before we bring over the cut and emboss machine, let's do our other, our other uh, stamping so we can cut it all out at the same time. I have got just a piece of basic white here. And let's clean this since we just used our green. And this time we're gonna stamp it in memento black. And I'm gonna stamp it three times. And I'm gonna color two of the pickles with Granny Apple Green uh, Stampin' Blends. And then the last one we'll do with Old Olive so that our pickers, pickles have a little bit of variation in them. All right, so I'm just gonna go with my light Stampin' Blend and I am using the bullet end here. And then I'm gonna take my dark, and I think I'll take the brush tip and just add a little bit of color along the bottom like that. All right, I don't think we need to blend that or anything, it looks pretty good. Now we're gonna do the same thing with Old Olive. And I'm gonna color first with light Old Olive. And then we'll take the dark and we'll just brush, whoops, got a little bit out of the lines there. Brush a little bit of the dark on the bottom. Okay, now we're also going to cut out the olive and where did I set my dies down? Right here, we've got a lot of fun little accessory dies here. We've got a knife, we've got fire, we've got even like a condiment for ketchup or mustard, jalapeno, but we're gonna use the olive. And I'm gonna cut it out of both real red and garden green and we're gonna piece it together. Okay, now I don't think we can do all of this at one time, so I'm not gonna even try. Let's start with our, you know, I think I'm gonna use a piece of post-it tape because I don't want this to slip. I'm gonna start with our pickle background and I'm gonna get this as centered as I can. This is the rectangle from the Radiating Stitches dies. And then I'm gonna take this, the olive is so tiny, they have put both pieces on one die. So we'll run that through like that. And then we'll run it through again with our garden green. That's real red. Let's get the pickle die. Did you know you needed a pickle die? Yes. Yes, you did. You do need a pickle die. I mean, I love fun and quirky stamps. Things that are unexpected. Something different than a flower you know, or a circle or a rectangle. I like to have fun, unexpected things. I have three teenagers in my life and having funny cards that they can give to their friends is always fun. All right, I'm gonna get those two tiny little pieces. I don't wanna lose them. I'm gonna set them right there on top of that. All right, we'll move this. We need to cut out one more of the, well, two more pickles. All right, and then we'll cut out the olive from Garden Green. Uh-oh. Maybe I need a little piece of post-it tape on that guy too. If you set your die, your die plate, top plate down like that quickly, that usually will prevent it from spreading. Now, 
I'm gonna get my take your pick tool on the putty end and just pick these up like this. All right, now we've got one more pickle to cut out. So let's get that and then we will start putting our card together. You know what else I need to cut out that I just remembered is the banner. We need a banner. So I'm gonna grab the little banner die also from this set and run that through. All right, we've got three pickles. We've got a banner and an olive. Now, we're gonna pop this out carefully. That post-it table, let go of it. You just gotta be gentle. And we're gonna start over here with our garden green card base. And we are gonna take, let's see, do I have, I do, foam adhesive sheets. These are so awesome. They come in square pieces and you can just cut them um, to larger pieces or strips that you need. And they're great for things like this, like frames. So I'm gonna put two like that. Should I put some on the side? I think we should. That way it won't cave in on the sides. Now you can create this kind of card using really any shape die. You could do the same thing with circle, a large circle or an oval. So just keep that in mind, this kind of staggered, um, tiered card. Now here's that piece that we cut out. We're gonna adhere that to a piece of garden green that's just a little bit bigger. And because I want it to stand up taller than this, I'm actually gonna put a stack of two dimensionals on it. So yeah, you're definitely gonna need some extra postage if you're sending this through the mail. I find that the non-machinable stamps, they're about a dollar, I believe, work perfectly for all my stamps, or all my cards that have extra dimensionals and goodies on them. Okay. All right, for our sentiment, we're gonna stamp it in two different colors. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be kind of daring. And I'm gonna try to do this without post-it tape. I'm gonna ink the bottom half in garden green. Let's see, did I get it? Yep. All right, and then I'm gonna bring over my memento and just go up to about where I can eyeball. And look, I can tell that I didn't ink it enough, so I'm gonna go up a little bit higher. And now I've got it. Okay, let's see if I can get it straight. All right, we got it. All right, so now I'm gonna stick this on here with dimensionals. I've got my regular dimensionals here. Okay, and then I've got, I'm gonna take a, a um, toothpick and we're gonna thread our, our pickles through the toothpick. Now, do I have my foam mat? That's the, the thing that I really should have gotten ahead of time. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna take this, the piercing end of my take your pick tool, and I'm just gonna put a little hole in the, in the middle of my pickle. And I'm gonna thread it through like that, okay? Now, that was the granny apple green. I think I'll do the old olive one in the middle. I'm gonna make my hole just a little bit bigger. Oh, got a little bit of the mat there. All right, this one I'm gonna turn kind of upside down like that. And then we'll do this one. And we'll do it like that. All right, so spread them out like that. And I'm gonna lay it down like this. And I'm gonna take my glue dots. And I'm gonna layer on some glue dots here so that this will, these pickles will stay where I want them. But this is also gonna give me 
a way to adhere it to the card. Okay, there's one. And we'll get that one right there. All right, now for good measure, let's put another one up here. All right. So now bring back our card and we will glue that right there. Now, remember the olive we cut out. We're going to just put a, the tiniest bit of glue you can right here on the smaller, real red part of the olive. Take your garden green and set it right on top. Right, and then take just a, you can do a glue dot here, but I think I'll just do I'll just do some liquid glue. I've got a dot for the olive, and I've got my red flag. Now, if you want, if you, you know this is a play on words. You're kind of a big dill, right? You could. Um, Block off the deal part of the sentiment and cut out D-I-L-L -L from your letters, your die letters, and put that. That would be really funny. I wish that they had done that on the stamp set, but they didn't. But I just left. It still is still funny. Now, this is a piece of just basic white with a strip of the To Market Designer Series paper. And... Am I out of my lemon thread? I usually have it sitting right here and it is gone. Well, we'll just leave it off. You can see here how I tied it around. I can see that peeking through. We need to trim that off. I tied linen thread around the fold of the card. And there you go, guys. Just a fun play on words card that would be really fun for anybody in your life. But I think specifically guys would find this really funny. All right, you guys, click the link here on YouTube. Hop back to my blog. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.